and not my favorite thing to do, but I believe in this, so I will do it. That's the spirit. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Um, Advent really is a special time in our church here. This, this time of preparation where everyone is eagerly looking forward to all the excitement of Christmas. And this year at Redeemer, Advent is a time of preparation in another way, too, as we eagerly look forward to the addition of a new staff member to our already amazing team. Um, my name is Sue Gronke, and I'm here on behalf of your search committee because we need your input. We've already met several times. We've had some very interesting and fruitful discussions uh, focusing on both the realities of congregational ministry and Redeemer right now and all the possibilities uh, and potentials that we have for the future, too. One of the realities is, as Pastor has shared, is that participation in Christian education programs isn't very strong right now. We have an average of 10 children on a Sunday in Sunday school. Another nine are involved in our sixth to eighth grade confirmation program, and maybe two um, high school age Jews coming to high school programming. And that just isn't enough to justify a full-time director position focused on just this one area. The good news is that Redeemer has a lot of ministry that needs doing and could benefit from some extra support and guidance. So we've been talking about the idea that this staff vacancy is an opportunity for us to think creatively, maybe reimagine, um, refresh uh, our job description as we look forward to uh, fulfilling our congregation's vision, goals, and potentials, too. Um, while we definitely do want to include some elements from the previous job description, um, maybe we should consider focusing not so much on a director of one particular ministry area, but rather on a coordinator who could support and integrate a variety of ministries here at Redeemer. So in other words, we would be broadening the scope of the job description and as a result, quite possibly, broadening our pool of candidates too be interested in the position. So we need your input. <laughs> the questionnaire that you have that we're handed this morning is really asking you, what do you feel is most important at Redeemer, both for the congregation as a whole and also for you personally? The ideas on the questionnaire came from a variety of directions. First of all, there are just some basic jobs that we do. Secondly, there are elements on there from the previous job description, important elements. There are ideas on there from the adult forum that we heard when we got together and talked this over initially in November. And then there are ministries on there that are emphasized in our bylaws and our constitution, too. There's also a section that asks you what personal characteristics do you think we should be looking for? And then there's an open-ended opportunity for you to offer thoughts and, and other comments that you might have too. Uh, Graham has graciously, I hope, agreed to provide us <laughs> some beautiful thinking music as a background. And so please take a few minutes now to share your thoughts. It won't take you very long. If you'd like to talk directly to one of us on the committee, there's a place that you can indicate that. Um, <coughs> Mark Rosland, Steve Patterson, Sarah Charles, Matthew, and myself are committee members and we're happy to talk with you at any time. We truly appreciate your input. We also promise to keep you updated as this moves along. And most importantly, 
We ask for your prayers for all of us, for the congregation, for the council, for the committee, as we look forward uh, and anticipate this exciting new staff edition.